talk about this complete frag support solution that has been designed by yours truly. And if you keep coral, if you grow uh, them, if you buy them in frags, especially if you have a coral propagation system or you go to shows uh, now that COVID restrictions are starting to ease up, uh, I think this might be uh, a game changer as it was for me. So let's uh, all dig uh, deep into what makes this uh, so special. Um, and we'll start by first talking about the base. So the base here is your typical egg crate. Um, it comes, uh, you can buy it in Home Depot or Lowe's. It comes in white primarily, but uh, you can also get the black version if you know a supplier. Um, and not many people know, but actually the egg crate has two different widths. So uh, the way I'm holding it, uh, this side here, uh, actually it's a lot narrower than the side uh, on the other side. And really, this is very important for the system that um, we're going to talk about today. So first and foremost, uh, we'll talk about the support of the frag uh, rack system. So you take the accurate, you cut it out to whatever um, dimensions you want, and then you need to position it in a tank. And there are these legs. Uh, these are 3D printed legs that uh, I do print and um, it, the way it's designed is um, if you can look from the top you can see that any frag uh, plug can go into any one of the cells here so there's no need to uh, lose the space a lot of times people glue it in and um, then either all four of those quadrants are gone or sometimes you just lose one so in here um, you don't lose any space. So I really like it because a lot of times I want to maximize the space and I want to be able to position all the um, frag plugs as efficiently as possible on the tank and this is super convenient. It's also useful for when I do any fragging myself and I use this as support. So you don't also need to use it inside of the tank. Um, if you have shorter legs you can actually place it um, on your table when you're fragging and you can just easily frag a whole bunch of corals and then uh, you can transport it anywhere else. Now I've mentioned legs and the way it works is these legs are actually removable and interchangeable so any one of them you know uh, you can easily snap in so these are four inch legs I have also five inch legs which are a lot uh, bigger and the way it works is you just push it in and you can see it's flush over here and yet uh, it doesn't go anywhere and you can easily reposition them. So sometimes I want it right next to um, the edge but uh, on a much bigger frag um, egg crate I will use it even further away. So I can use it here, here or you can use 6, 8, 10, whatever you want uh, of those legs. So there are five inch, there is, which I find is one of the most optimal sizes for a frag uh, rack, so for a frag tank. So sometimes you use five inch or four inch for that. Um, so this is four inch. There's also a three inch, which is when you want to go a little bit lower, maybe for the corals that uh, prefer a little bit of uh, dimmer specs. And then um, there is also two inch. There is an inch and a half. And finally, there is uh, one inch, which are right here. So these are tiny. And sometimes you uh, also can use those ones. I find that one inch are great for when you want to place something on the table and you're working with it. But I want my uh, snails to go underneath. So usually I start with a one and a half inch if I'm actually putting it in the tank. But it's great for Mantipura. You can do multiple levels. And all of them are interchangeable. You can take it out and place it back in. You can move it around. If you want to make a base for your skimmer, for example, you can also use that. And there's many other possibilities. But remember, so one side is thicker than the other. So this goes in very nicely. You know, I can take this uh, one and a half inch uh, and I can just line it up like this. It's not going anywhere and I can easily yank it out. Now remember if I don't put it on the right size, uh, so this one is narrower, so this will actually be very loose. But the nice thing about this, 
you don't need any glue, you don't need any zip ties, and you don't lose any space. So that is uh, about the legs. And by the way, everything you can find, more pictures, details on pragmatic3d.com website. So um, this is the legs. And uh, then uh, if you have multiple egg crates, you can actually combine them together. So you can, um, now we're talking about the space from the top. Remember, this is narrower. So everything here is designed to go from the top. So if you want to uh, connect two different plates together, you can just easily do it like this. And then you use those uh, connectors, you snap them in, and now it's not going anywhere. So again, really awesome stuff. Uh, you've also got the dividers. So for example, you've got um, a section for uh, soft corals and hard corals or you want uh, higher lower end corals or maybe this is not for sale so you can easily use those easy like standard quarter inch um, tubes uh, or uh, sticks these are kind of glowing sticks and you can easily just uh, plug them in and um, you can reposition it anywhere you want so again you have special um, connectors that can snap out and can be moved anywhere else if you wanted to. So really useful for when you want to organize things um, at a frag show, for example. And speaking of frag show, the thing that you need there for sure is um, tags. And these tags are, again, custom designed. It's using two different colors. This thing glows at night and you can um, find different uh, numbers here as well. So you can go in numbers 10, 20, all the way to 200. Uh, you can also have alphabet. Uh, there's also these convenient ones for ask, for sold, for sale. So this is very uh, cool. And you can easily yank out any one of the pieces. So I've just taken this letter B and I can position it anywhere I want. So I can just plug it in here that's it, it snaps and it's not going anywhere. So forget about the days when you have high flow and you've got everything on your, on your tank and just things moving around here, everything is actually going to stay in place. And you can easily yank it out, shift it. And the nice thing also about this is that when I've taken something like this out, you may notice that it's all flush uh, with uh, the surface so there's no place for algae to kind of crawl into so if you later on want to just give it a wipe it's very easy to clean it and place it back in so it serves a good role from that perspective and again uh, it's very easy to organize things and keep it quite um, tidy finally we've got uh, frag um, cages right here so this is very easy you take a soft coral, you place it in, you um, cut it, and it's not gonna go anywhere, so your recorder won't move until it actually attaches itself. And again, this is designed with accurate in mind, so you may notice that there's two sizes. <clears throat> the small one will take on um, only nine of those boxes, and then the bigger one, is going to also fit very nicely inside of the egg crate. So it's all designed where I can still fit something um, right next to him and I can use the other ones as well. Now, finally, you've got, uh, you, you've been to the frag show, you bought some coral, where do you um, put it? So you have these transport, uh, frag transporters, very easy. You uh, just put some water in here. You've got your little caddy. Uh, you will place your newly purchased coral and it actually supports both sizes. So you can fit it in like this. And then you put it back into the container and you just bought um, eight uh, frags and you can transport it anywhere you want. And uh, the coral will appreciate um, that treatment. 
So those are all the things that I'm super excited about. And um, like I said, you've, you have options. If you're a store, um, I recommend you uh, contact Reef Wholesale. Um, this is a, a wholesale vendor in Toronto, but it also offers uh, support for anybody in North America, from, as far as I understand. And um, if you um, want to just try something out as well, you can go to pragmatic3d.com and um, explore all of these options. And feel free to write in the comments below if you've got any um, comments on, on, on this. This uh, took a very long time to design. Um, lots of effort went into every one of those things. So what you see here is uh, the result of probably months of iteration. Many different variants were discarded. Uh, your feedback was always used to make it even better. And this is the product that I use myself. And um, I think it made me uh, a slightly better reefer. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have a topic for the next video, um, give me an idea and make sure to subscribe and hopefully like. Cheers.